Hello. Hello. Welcome to another exciting episode of The English Couple. Hello, Julia. Hello, Richard. We are up on the Downs today. We're up near Stenning Bowl. Yeah. And the reason we've come up here is to see if we can find the pigs. Yes, those lovely pigs. Now, I'm not convinced. Are you all right with your microphone? Sorry, I'm just having a quick equipment change. Quick equipment change. Um, yes, the, uh, I came up here oh, about two or three years ago one day when it was misty and I didn't know it was going to be misty I made a film called The Pigs in the Mist I was, I was going to say that, Pigs in the Mist but then I got distracted with my mic so carry on, as um, you were as you were <laughs> so, um, well that was a, a pure accident and then I discovered that there were pigs up here and that they lurched out at me in the mist not, in a, not in a vicious way so today because the sun is shining and it's lovely and it's a few years later we've often seen the little pig what do you call the uh, houses? Pig arches, I think they're called. Oh, I've yes, heard them the, called that lately. Yes, pig arches. And um, that's arches made out of pigs. No, it's not. <laughs> I was having that vision myself, like, hmm. hmm. Anyway. So we thought we'd come up and see if we can see them. So this, the we may not see them. Pigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see if they're doing their arches. Uh, maybe they're doing some tumbling and I all think sorts they're of... cheerleading today, actually. Oh, I did have they? a quick look at their time schedule. So for those. Schedule. That, that's schedule. <laughs> yes, that's it. For those that don't know, um, Stenning Bowl, as it's parochially pro known, parochially locally Parochial. known, yeah. is um, on the South Downs, just uh, close to Worthing, above a village called Sompting, in between Sompting and Stenning, from where it gets its name. And to our west, in the distance there, is Chanterbury Ring. With the lovely lone north tree. With the lone north tree yeah. on the summit. So. Now we occasionally have trouble with this camera freezing, so glitching out. We hope we won't today. Oh, it's a little thing? windy, and we were hoping that we may fly, fly the drone. So if you do see drone shots, obviously we managed to get them in. If not, if we're not, we didn't. We didn't because it was too windy for the drone. We love stating the obvious sometimes, don't we? Well, we I do. do. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful place up here, and if you follow this where we're going down the other side you come into Coombs Farm and a lovely little place which we, we've also been to and done videos we've done videos where that. they were lambing didn't mm. we I haven't Lovely. been there for a while oh yes the arcs are ahead of us ladies oh, and gentlemen yeah. whether there's any pigs can you see any pigs I can my eyes are I can see them oh yeah. can you yeah I can see lots of them oh well there we are it's we exciting. can't show you I'll turn the camera around it is extremely windy actually so it's looking less likely that the drone will be up. No, sadly. But you do get some great shots from up here and hopefully the wind isn't too dramatic on the microphone. Mm. And there's the bowl just beyond Julia. That's a... Gonna have my cereal in it. It is a great big dip. And on days like this, often you'll see hang gliders out there doing their thing hanging and gliding <laughs> and picking up the uh, what do you call it the thermals the, yes the thermals and all of that so uh, yeah, I'm not sure if good. this is part of the South Downs way but there is certainly one bit on here that's part of the South Downs way and I can't remember whether it's this one or one further along mm. it might be this one there's a chap coming on a bicycle now and a lot of people love to come up here and do all their their cycling and stuff. We'll see him as he passes. I don't like to point the camera straight at no. him. I can see but, some uh, hoof prints on the ground as well. That's yes. nice to see. You often see the... Good afternoon. Morning. Morning, even. And there he Ahead goes. Of myself. This is... Uh, I haven't been up on the downs for a while, actually. Oh, i tell you what. It's really fit, isn't he, getting up here like that? Oh, yeah. It's a, making it's a it real... look a doddle. It is a bit of a doddle. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah hawthorn they're coming Beautiful. out um we're in may so we should see the blossom now on the hawthorn Ooh. any time any moment any moment we've seen blossom which would have been the blackthorn which of course makes slows mm -hmm. and um, the hawthorn makes fasts <laughs> that's uh, a complete rubbish and here we've got some not looking maybe Maybe just about to spring out into something jolly. 
you know, a little bit of, there's some blossom Green. coming on it. Blossom. But it's quite exposed and the wind sort of c comes over here. So, got cows in the far distance. Stenning is over that way, just beyond the hill, which is lovely. And of course, there's a beautiful walk from here all the way to um, Chantonbury Ring. So yeah, so I made a mistake there. What we saw was Sisbury Ring, oh, yes. the Iron Age hill fort, not Chantonbury. <laughs> and Chantonbury Ring is that way. So I yeah. didn't catch that one either. <laughs> no, it's ridiculously <laughs> stupid of me. I know the area very well and have walked over here for many, many years mm. on and off. So uh, I don't know how close we'll get to the pigs. That's the only thing. The last time I came, the pigs were right adjacent to the path. Hmm. It doesn't look like the pigs are quite as close. So no. we may not have such an opportunity. And this isn't this camera doesn't have a long lens on it. No. So we might get a glimpse of them on the camera if we're lucky. But we brought you outside. Yes. Into the uh, glorious sunshine. Into the glorious sunshine. Because there's a lovely tree on its own there. Oh yeah. Looks you you uh, need to point the camera at it so the yes. audience can see. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. Can't. Oh, there it is. And is the. Uh, whilst you're doing that, I can just have a quick look at the uh, microphone situation to see if it's frozen. It hasn't. Thank, Excellent. Now oh, directly into the sun there. Sorry, guys and gals, lords and ladies. Where is he? And then well, our plan is to go back to the van and have a cup of tea. Again, we would go on longer walks and take you further along on our trip, but um, we only have this short window at the moment whilst Joe's growing up, uh, which is a shame. Although some days, like Thursdays, you, we get a bit longer. We do. When we go to the farm shop. Yes. And um, we think that we're going to be joined next week by Sean James Cameron. Yes, that'd be exciting. Who's coming it? down. So it'd be nice to have somebody else to uh, yeah, film and talk yeah. to. I haven't seen him for ages, so that'd be really good. Shall we pause the filming and then make our way closer to the uh, pig so we don't waste the audience's time just waffling about how Nothing. much lovely <laughs> Italian rye grass there is and a few dock leaves. Yeah. At one time, all of this, I should just point out, all of this would have contained wild meadows of all sorts of beautiful different types of um, plants, you know, flowers, wild flowers. Unfortunately, this Italian ryegrass has taken over and um, we've got dandelions. It looks like we've got, what's that? There may be some various thistles and um, what are those? Golly, I've got to go back and have a look at all these these things. What are these called again? Um, I'm not sure. No. But there are some, there are parts of the downs that are still preserved and then there are parts that are unfortunately um, where Let's they've been ploughed or changed. There we go. Bore you with grasses or grass. But yes, like you say, it would have been meadow flowers and all sorts of different grasses. Yes. And vibrant with life. And spongy on underfoot. Oh yeah. But um, fortunately here, not too much monoculture is grown. Um, a lot of farms on the South Downs sow spring barley this time of year. And you can see swathes of farm areas that have got fields. But a lot of this has, has remained pasture, which is good. Um, and, but in the old days, of course, they didn't have all these gates and fences and things. You could just wander. If you read um, Richard Jeffries, who was a writer around the uh, end of the 19th century, and he talks about walking over the downs, and many other authors also, and they just, they can walk. You had access. It was farmers' fields and things. There would be shepherds and sheep, mostly. Some cattle, of course. But that was it. You didn't have all this constraint. The, the shepherd would be there with his flock and would be watching them and and perhaps using portable hurdles and things like that. It's now so, so very different. It's still lovely, but it's not as lovely. And I think that's one of the problems that people don't really think. They think this is, this is it, but it would have been more vibrant and lovely. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll pause and we'll try and get to the pigs.
well. Oh, yeah. We've got the, uh, the swines up here, actually. <laughs> so we can cut off the path a bit and go up a little bit. We can't obviously go into the field, which is just up there. But we can go in close enough to say hello. Yes, <laughs> they might come over because they're quite inquisitive, aren't they, pigs? They are, they are very intelligent animals, um, which is why it's so heartbreaking that they get um, swallowed oh, they... up in the uh, whole in, um, intensive farming industry. Yes, and if, uh, if and when we get our little spot and on our land, we can't get to it because of this. No, there's a wire there. It's a shame. When I came, they were in this bit. As I say, it was a, a few years ago now. They might move them around in strips, I suppose. That's true. Because they are obviously productive, you know, for the, for the fertiling the land as well. Mm. And they're good for getting the soil ready. So instead of being in one place, which these are, if we had a small holding with several acres of land, yeah. We would, we would move them about a lot more. That's right, and use them to turn the soil over. Turn the soil over and all that, and set them out in woodland. And Hello, Piggy. It. Hello, Piggy. Hello, beautifuls. But yes, it would be lovely to go up and meet them. It's a shame. But they look pretty contented. They do. There's not much cover for them, is there? No. You know, they're quite um, exposed, I think. I think pigs much prefer to be in woodland where they can mm. snort around the roots and, and all of that. It's a very, you know, they are being mass... Mass produced. Mass produced, which is a shame, really. But they look, they look healthy enough, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. Hello. Morning. Morning. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see the silhouettes of the piggies. There is nobody here. I'm just <laughs> going to nip over to see if we can get a bit closer to them. The second wire might be um, There's another electrified. There's a boundary here. Just can't bring myself to get over that. Or, or actually there isn't. Oh yes there is. Electrified Come probably. over. <sighs> We're not going to hurt them. <coughs> Hello, Piggy. Hello, Piggy. When I came, there were much younger pigs. Much, much younger. You see here, look, there's a... I'm going to come around to this side. A little barrier. A little wire, which is probably electrified. Yes. That's what keeps them in. Hello, Piggy. Hello. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Is that still recording? Yep. Oh, yeah, I think so. Hello. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hey, Al. Hello. You're adorable, aren't you? Can I just get yeah, a little bit do. closer? Hey, That's pig. Right. Hey, piggy. She's so beautiful. Who's a beautiful girl? Hello. Mm, thank you for coming they and saying hello. They are amazing animals, really. Mm. Got all those udders underneath, look. For all those piglets, she's probably got somewhere yeah. in one of these arches. And there, the, you can't really see it on the camera, I don't suppose, but there are other little um, pegs, and so they are actually penned they're in. All, and yeah, they're all divided in, up. Divided up, but there's no greenery. No. Hello. Hello, beautiful. How are you, lady? <laughs> Hello. How are you? I so want to stroke you. I love the way their noses just sort of arch a bit, don't they? They're really tactile, their noses. It's, it's like a, a very short elephant's trunk in a way, but not quite so nimble. But they do use them as, yeah. like, you know. Oh, this is so amazing. She's furrowing, did you see that? She yes. Just, that's how they'd find the truffles. Yes, you can feel that they would want to be in, the, in amongst the grass where all the various other things are, worms. Mm -hmm. They probably eaten everything on this bit of land. I bet they'd love these dandelions. Yes. Going to risk it? It isn't right to feed other people's animals. No, no, that is the truth. But I do want to give them a dandelion each for, saying, for coming to say hello. Yeah, that's not poisonous to them, is it? Well, it shouldn't be, because dandelions, uh, well, 
we can eat them um, and uh, tortoises love them. Tortoises can have quite delicate tummies. Yes. So, um, and they're medicinal. So I can't see how, but I won't just in case. It's a public uh, video, isn't it? And uh, well, we, even if we, we certainly don't want to get into trouble. No, even if we weren't filming, I would think twice about it. Uh. Yeah. But what an amazing sight. And, and I tell you, if and when we get our plot of land, which we do want to do. Desperately. And we're trying to, to have pigs would be nice. We want to raise a little family of piggies. It's the business about uh, slaughtering them is the difficult part, isn't yes, it? Yes, that was a very interesting conversation we had yesterday with Emma Goodwin. Um, and I know Natasha um, Campbell McBride mentioned about the uh, slaughter as well. Um, but yes, I mean, uh, I, I've been uh, shown through YouTube and one of the other YouTubers I, I follow, Think Like a Horse, because um, he, he, um, he knows how to put a horse down with his gun. Obviously, he lives in America, um, and a lot of people here actually are registered to have a gun for the same reason for their animals, farmers usually, obviously. So I, I've, you know, I would know where to, where to shoot them. It's a horrible thought, though. But at the end of the day, if we raise some pigs, and I can't slaughter one of them myself, then I probably would end up turning vegetarian. Yes. But you know, and that's the thing, at least then I would have dealt with the guilt that I've been carrying and still carry we, all these years. We would have to have somebody who has done it. I mean, I couldn't do it just from reading a book or watching a video. I'd have to get a specialist in to no. show us a few times or even each time. No, I don't like the idea of simply slitting the throat and allowing them to bleed out because I, I have seen that happen. Okay, it was not in the ideal of situations when I was living abroad. Um, but, you know, and, I, and well, I, would, I think I'd much prefer a quick, swift bullet to the head. Yeah. Or, or, or an, you know, don't, don't they use um, uh, essentially an air gun, a, a bolt of air? Is that what they do? Usually. Um, that, I'm sure that's how we used to do it here in this country before uh, then draining. Uh, you know, doing the slitting. Oh, but this is such a miserable thing to be talking about. I uh, know. And you lovely girls are such clever girls, aren't you? It's interesting that they are finding stuff in the soil. I mean, they're certainly eating stuff, aren't they? Yeah. It is a beautiful sight. They are such lovely creatures. You need to learn a lot more about growing pigs and, and looking after them. Mm -mm. I think it's a... Uh, they're so versatile as well as, as animals, aren't mm -hmm. they? I mean, they, they turn over the soil and all of that. They just uh, the fertiliser. The fertilising. Um, and they're very um, intelligent, I understand. They're very loving, that, you know, from what I've seen and what I've learnt from them. And of course they do provide a hell of a lot of meat. <laughs> and I'm afraid to say it, you girls, you are tasty. But in, in reverse, I'm sure they'd find us tasty if they came across yes. us in, you know, a, a deceased form. <laughs> I wonder how long they actually live before they get um, hey. dealt with. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful girl. Hey, beautiful girl. Hey, beautiful. Yes, hello, darling. Oh, look at that. Hello, darling. <laughs> you are gorgeous. It's really weird. They're like babyfied versions of their original selves, you know, because they, they would have had these tusks out the side of their mouths. And I guess they, that's just been bred out of them. And I don't know if they'd have been smaller, much smaller as well, as a wild boar. I've never seen a wild boar in the flesh. But they are very busy, aren't they? And you can imagine on the farm, on your small holding, wherever, they're doing some great work for the soil. They're rooting around and turning it over. These are all mothers, aren't they? They're all mothers, these. All of them, yep. I don't know if they're pregnant. Maybe um, in a few months' time they'll have babies. Maybe. Those teats are quite pronounced. Oh, yes, that's right, because Law and Kiva's um, pigs that they're receiving soon, they're, they are pregnant, the two, por the two um, sows and boars. Ah, we hope to go back, I knew I got we? that wrong, yes. People did tell us in the comments. Thank you guys and gals. 
don't know why I feel the need to say guys and girls. Hello. Well, this has been a, an absolute bonus, isn't it? Aren't they just so lovely? It's just so nice to be in their presence. They're like therapy, uh, you know. Unjudgmental. Hello, lovely. Can you come and say hello too? Hello. I wasn't sure if they would be here, but I'm so pleased that we have found them. Me too. This is the closest I've been to a full-sized pig. Is it really? Yeah. I saw piglets a few years back when I took um, my eldest. It was before Joe was born, actually. I took my eldest with some of his friends and my friends to... Um, I can't remember which farm it was. It was one of those ones with a uh, big play park, indoor and outdoor play park, and some petting animals and things like that. And they had five little piglets in a little, in a little enclosure. Bless them. So well. You, well, that was lovely. Let's feel, just see if we can, let's just see if we can pose with the pigs so we get a thumbnail. 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 There we go. Something. We may, may or may not use it. <laughs> so, what are you using your nose? Look at that. Gorgeous. If only I could do the same. <laughs> go on then, you try it, Richard. Just mind the wire. <laughs> Hello, piggy. <laughs> It's what you do, isn't it? Oh. I feel a, a sort of affinity. <laughs> I tell you what, if I, if we ever get pigs, I'm going to be in with them and rolling around in the mud <coughs> and playing with them. I think they'd enjoy that, you know, and scratching their backs and, and all of that. Absolutely. We're going to be hugging these animals. And I know you'll be singing to them. Yes, absolutely. Unless they don't like my singing, then I absolutely won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go back and make a we, cup of tea? Yes, I think we should. But it's been lovely to see the pigs. Absolutely, Absolutely wonderful. wonderful. And we may have to come back and see if they've got piglets because when they have yes. the piglets, they're all running around. Yes. So, uh, yeah, you can't do it Can't do it from the top. <laughs> oh, let's get some more footage of the piggies. Right, bye-bye then, ladies. Thank you so much for coming over to us. Oh, so nice. So Pass beautiful. Brilliant. Well, we will make our way back now. <laughs> Where are you? We'll yeah. make our way back now and uh, we'll have a cup of tea and we'll see you in the van. Yes, see you in a bit. Here we go. Lovely. Ooh. Thank you very much. <sighs> So, um, I didn't have time to put the whole table up and everything. No. Oh, I'll just put them there for a minute. There we go. I can pass one oh, to you. That was brilliant. <laughs> well, we've parked up. Well, we'd already parked up, obviously, because <laughs> you saw that at the beginning. I don't know what I'm saying. We've decamped, or no, re oh, whatever. We're back at the van. Yeah, as you can see. We've got, uh, I've got black coffee. I meant to bring some milk, but uh, it's all right. I'll have it black. Mm. I'm having another lemon tea, which I am cutting down on a lot. Because yes. it's a lot of sugar in it. It's so a lot of sugar in it. Weaning myself off. It's hard, isn't it, to, mm. uh, to get off things that you've grown so used to. They've become a crutch in your life, you know. I managed to get off sugar when I was in my... I suppose when I was in my early teens. I used to have sugar in tea, but then when I when I went working, when I went working, yeah. when I got my first job in a printer's, um, they said try it without sugar. You don't need it, and I did try it, and, and a week later I was fine. Yeah, it really didn't take that long. Now, unfortunately, uh, I was going through a lot of issues as a teen and a twenty, you know, in my twenties, with uh, eating issues and things like that. Along with the older siren. Then. Plain clothes, plain clothes vehicle. Plain clothes vehicle. A anyway. bit of a giveaway with the siren going there. 
Yeah. Oh, but anyways, point being, things became big crutch and now I'm slowly ditching them for, yes. a better, for a better life because there's a better way. There is a better <laughs> way. And if you don't know, there's a conference coming up. Which we are thoroughly June. looking forward to. Yes, very much looking forward to. Lots of interesting speakers, beginning first to the 4th of January. And um, they're very kindly putting us up in a hotel. Yeah. So on this channel, we'll be doing some behind the scenes. Yep. That will be one of Julia's uh, tasks, actually. Yeah. Is to... Because you're going to be busy, busy. I'll be relatively busy, but I do want to be with you. And, and together we'll, we'll look at the hotel. Actually, it's quite an opportunity. We'll have a look at Bath a bit. Yeah. We did do Bath when we went to... Um, on the canal boat That's a few right, years yeah. ago on the on the old channel. But we didn't do much in Bath itself, no. did we? And I've actually got a friend over there, I um, mean near Bath, so which I'm looking forward to meeting for the first time. Friend via Facebook. I became a uh, well I started following her because she'd written a book about a unicorn. <laughs> a children's <laughs> well, book. Yeah, children yeah. Um, Not a serious um, <laughs> An in-depth investigative book on what's happened to the unicorns and why we don't see them, although maybe it is. Maybe it is. Who maybe knows? Is. Yeah, so... Um, you all right? Your arm aching? A little bit. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Nothing to apologise by. Yeah. Certainly she and I have become friends over the years and, uh, yeah, she lives near there and she's uh, into all of these things. She watches your other channel, which is funny. It was a funny moment when she realised, oh, that's your boyfriend. Oh, that's your boyfriend? Yeah. He's your boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> that's my, <God>. my man. <laughs> that's my man. Oh, dear. Mm. Yes. Um, it, very much looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to be meeting Oliver. Not Oliver. Neil. Neil Oliver. Oliver. Um, it's funny because I, I, the reason I said that was I was thinking of Oliver Postgate. I was chatting to a chap yesterday about Noggin the Nog. I don't, you won't remember Noggin no, the Nog. I love a Postgate as well. Um, you love a... <laughs> Oliver Postgate, creator of the Clangers, Bagpuss, oh. Noggin the Nog, um, and things like that. And, um, yeah... Uh, so when, so I was had had Oliver Postgate's name in my mind. So when I was trying to think of Neil Oliver just now, um, <laughs> Oliver, wait, not Oliver Postgate, <laughs> no, Neil Oliver, other, other person with Oliver in the name. Yes. So it'd be nice to meet him. I've I've interviewed him on my other channel, and we've had conversations. You know, don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? Don't you know? As it happens. As it happens, so to speak, as it were. So um, all of that. All of that. Jazz. A good what what? <laughs> yes. What what? Nip nip cozy. Um, so. And then there's lots of other people, Dr. Tess Laurie, of course, who's sort of the head honcho there, I think. Mm -hmm. So lots to and look many forward more. to. Many yeah. more. Lots of lovely conversations to be listened to. To be had. Hmm. But thank you very much for bringing me out to see the piggies today. Oh, I tell you, it was absolutely wonderful, wasn't it? Yes. And it's inspired me even more. All of these trips that we've been doing, and some of those trips on the other channel, but on this channel as well, because we went around the small holding and the bluebell wood just got to get back into the land the weather is with us now got to get there and we've got to get growing and and having husbandry skills yeah so i feel positive about this i do i feel like the stars are aligning this is the year i feel like everything i've done has brought me to this point to you know to meet you and and to sit here drinking tea yes. in a lay-by up oh. on stenning bowl yes on a beautiful day Albeit windy and we can't get the drone up. Yeah. But we'll shame. drone on instead. We're, yeah, we're good at <laughs> droning. That's our, that's our um, forte. Peace to the resistance. Yes. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed our nonsense. Um, and we will see you on another English couple very soon. For some more nonsense. Oh, yes. Sean James Cameron will be in one yeah. coming forward. Not this time we go to the... Yeah. So who knows, we might manage to film something tomorrow, but we don't know. Looking anyway. forward to seeing you anyway, Sean. Yeah. Till next time. Bye now. Toodle Pipson. <laughs>